Now, we're now joined by counselor to the president, Kellyanne Conway. Kellyanne, I want to first play for you some of the challenges we saw down at the border last week. Let's watch. Someday, uh, Miami. We have, uh, Miami. we have to remove from the field patrols to fill bottles. And the good thing is, many of us are parents, so we know how to change diapers and we know how to feed bottles. Tienes amigos, amigos en los Estados Unidos? Tengo una amiga cerca de Washington. Oh, Washington? D.C.? Sí. Oh, okay. I see the video right there because the guy put a video on the internet. I see the video. How do you do it? Cross and you do, you can see it. You do. He sees on the, goes on YouTube, figures out how to cross because he gets picked up by the Border Patrol, then released within 24 hours. So, Kellyanne, after seeing this, I, I, my, my instinct is to say, why not deal and focus all of the administration's rhetoric on that? That's a, Dan's right. It is a raging fire at the border right now, a fire of humanity endangering themselves in our country. And yet we're talking about legal immigration. I'm not I'm not getting that. No, well, there's two points to, to the president's big proposal today, Laura, and one is full and final border security, which he's been talking about for the four years he's been running for and being president. The second part is the modernization and merit-based immigration system. You at least went down to the border. The president's plan today does the same thing. He's talking to the professionals at the border. What do they need? He's not bothering with the people behind you in Congress because they fail to act. They, they can just fix Flores. They can fix TVPRA so that we as Flores a country, is Flores decision. is the court decision yeah. that compels us to release kids after 20 days. days. We have yeah. no, we have no opportunity other than to do that. They can fix that. The people right behind you can do it. But they failed to act, so the president's taken on. But this is full and final border, border security. First, we will have one million people coming to this country now uh, this year illegally. And I think when some people hear catch and release, they may not be aware that catch and release means release into the interior, not release back to their home country. They hear that, they're like, well, that's a good idea. For years, the flow was single males from Mexico. They could be returned to their home country. We're not allowed to do that now with the flow of children and adults. But what's can, the purpose of this plan? I mean, I, there, I think there's a lot of good two, stuff this in this plan. plan. Does two big things. One is what's the purpose? Final it's not legislation. Well, it, it would be if we could even get the Democrats to right. read the plan and come and talk to us about it. But this president wants full and final border security. So it means you close all the loopholes at the border. You give these border secure agents what they've been asking for, which includes more technology, the barrier, the wall. We're going to have about 400 miles of it done soon. Even the newspapers are starting to say that. It caught my eye that the Washington Post ABC poll reported that there's 17 percent increase among Democrats from January when Chuck and Nancy said manufacture a crisis to April, they're calling it a crisis now. They've seen the pictures. But border security means exactly that. It means closing the loopholes, having that barrier. Well, you just said that Congress is not going to mm -hmm. do it. And let me tell you about Blumenthal. Blumenthal, Richard, Richard Blumenthal from my home state, well, one of my cares? least favorite. Hon honestly, with all but the he, But he, he says it's, he says he it's has... despicable demagoguery. So, how, so you put this out there. So my question is, is this really a 2020 platform for all Republicans That's up to, to the run Congress. on? That's up to Congress. We would love for them to come to the White House tomorrow and right. find a way to act on this, at least read it. That is dismissive demagoguery by Blumenthal. It doesn't even matter if he's not going to read it and consider it. But this is not a 2020 document, if the Congress can act now. We're interested in 2019. So in addition to full border security, it also just modernizes a system that has not been touched since 1965, 54 years. So members of Congress certainly are never term limited, but fresh and creative ideas for immigration were term limited a long time ago. I think ago. it There's makes sense. Sclerosis. I mean, the idea of just fa uh, endless family members coming Look, over. Look, a lot of people so are vested in the second, status quo. Yeah. So this focuses on the yeah. immediate family, not just, you know, add right. infinitum. So you, can, you, can, you could still sponsor uh, minor yes, children, children and spouses. and parents. There's no question. Yeah. And, now, and well, why, why is even E-Verify not in it. A lot of us were really hoped, we, the president has talked about E-Verify so yes. often. Stephen Miller is a big fan of E-Verify. If you stop the employment for these people, they won't come. Most of them are just economic migrants. So this is not the so final word. word. I think these the are the two big fronts that we felt comfortable putting forward now because the president sees the urgency and the exigency of border security. And also, we want to shine a light on the fact that nobody in Congress has bothered to touch the legal immigration system in 54 years. Why is that? Because so many of them are vested in the status quo. They pretend they're worried about the children. They pretend they're worried about the families. If they were, they wouldn't be happy. They would
would do something about girls at the ages of our daughters being pumped up with birth control on their way on the treacherous journey and then tested for pregnancy when they get here. It's, it's outrageous. It's they don't know what happens to those kids once they get here and they're released into they the were interior. The kids were traumatized. Of that course we they are. They, they've come all the way on that journey with no guarantee. They've been lied to by the coyotes who take their life savings and worse for many of them. So the Democrats, I think they want this as a 2020 issue. We'd like to resolve it in 2019. Was there any thought of the reducing the legal immigration numbers? 1.1 million. A president ran in part on, on maybe reexamining that. Stephen Miller was always for lowering immigration. Uh, until we get the border sol solved, maybe pause it. I mean, people have even said pausing immigration, except for extreme cases. But there's a reframing for a of time. here. It's merit based, which means yeah. that in this country, 12 percent of our illegal immigration comes from. Um, employability. 66 or so percent comes from so family ties. It, right? This flips it. Canada already has it flipped. Mm -hmm. New Zealand has it flipped. So we're looking at a system that's more aligned with those other countries who, yes, welcome immigrants yeah. as we do. Also, Laura, uh, this ridiculous raise the wage artificially or get minimum wage raised artificially. Our wages are now $22 an hour. We have 7.5 million available Don't let, jobs them, don't the let them flood economy. the country with more people. That'll low, start lowering wages. Need to that's do what that. the chamber People need wants. to come here legally and get one of these 7.5 million jobs. Um, Kelly and Conway, thanks for staying Thank up late tonight. We really appreciate it.